Well, I'm uh, really excited to be able to talk to uh, you folks in the Co-op Cafe today about a topic that means a lot to me, uh, uh, customer engagement and welcoming all kinds of people into our co-ops. And um, it really starts for us um, as an opportunity to be the friendly store in town uh, because uh, you know, we can't be the biggest stores, we can't have the most product, we can't necessarily have the best prices, but theoretically against anybody, we and really any of our co-ops could win on friendliness. That could be the place where um, we meet people's needs the best and gives us a competitive advantage over the other guys uh, in, the, in the grocery biz. And so that's uh, why I'm excited about this topic and, and why I think it's so important for our co-ops. Uh, and I think it can work in any market and any co any size co-op. Um, and, and so that's really kind of exciting aspect of this. Um, I do a lot of, I read a lot of business books cause I'm that kind of guy. And uh, one of the ones that's appealed to me is uh, the way that uh, the Disney company thinks about mostly the experience that customers have at their theme parks. How do customers um, experience the friendliest you know, the happiest place on earth or whatever they call it in Disney World. Um, and what Disney uh, has talked about is this four part pyramid that essentially is about um, uh, meeting basic needs at the bottom two tiers um, and then real engagement and and um, like longevity of, of uh, connection at the top level. Uh, but you... Uh, can't get to the top level of the pyramid if you don't achieve at the bottom level and the foundational level. Um, and weirdly, in their view, you actually don't get any credit for meeting people at the bottom level, and yet you have to do it in order to be in the game. Uh, and so that's been really interesting to me because I think we want to jump to the top level all the time at Wheatsville. We want, we want to have those high fives and hugs out of the gate, uh, and but we don't necessarily always achieve at the bottom level of just meeting people's needs uh, on an everyday basis. And so I've been really trying to think about how can we uh, absolutely nail the bottom of the pyramid, uh, meeting people's needs, even though it's completely unsexy and doesn't uh, get you any credit. Uh, it's, the, it's the price of admission into being a good grocer. And, and we have to manage those in order to ever get to the next level of engagement. One of the ways that we thought about the pyramid uh, that we're discussing today uh, was it's going from high uh, and handshakes to high fives and hugs as a, a way of, of visualizing kind of how this might work at our co-ops that when people come in to our stores uh, as just shoppers that, that hopefully they're at least getting hellos and, and uh, maybe they're uh, you know, if we're using the 10, four rule, like a lot of our co-ops do of greeting customers when they're, uh, within four feet of us with a, with a verbal acknowledgement. If we're doing that, we're at least getting a high end with people. We're saying, hi, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. We're appreciating that they're here. Then maybe we get to the handshake level where, where maybe we're, they're joining as an owner and we're, we're shaking hands out of the deal that they're joining us. And, uh, uh, and then we get to know each other so well that we're high-fiving each other in the aisles because we're so glad to see them and we see them so regularly. And maybe we know what they're having for lunch because they're regulars. And then, and then we get to hugs when they, they're, they, they're part of the family and they, they're so attached to the co-op and they're bringing their friends in because they love our co-op so much and they feel so welcome here and they want to have other people have that same genuine kind of experience of authentic connecting uh, with our co-op staff and even other co-op members. And that's, the, that's kind of the, the apex uh, experience that we want people to have. And so how do we get them from... Uh, from hello or handshake to hugs. And I think it's a lot of different things, but making sure that everybody who walks through our door really feels like we're so glad they're here. Uh, one of our ends is to transform society to a more kind and generous place. And that uh, happens at, on the floor of our store when our, when our staff are talking to our customers and really, really, really demonstrating that we're so glad they're here. So we, uh, Friendly Store in Town, uh, as our concept of how we're going to operate um, really means that we are open to everybody. Uh, we talk about it in our training uh, and we talk about a particular sliver that might be interesting to people, which is uh, it's hard to be welcoming to people that you're different than and that especially if you have some preconceived notions about those people. 
And the way I usually describe it is more like, you know, you're a bicycle activist and a person drives a Hummer and parks in your co-op parking lot. And how do you treat them when they come in your store? And yet, um, we should and can strive to be welcoming to all kinds of people because in our case at Wheatsville, we want to serve a broad range of people that's in our mission statement. Um, and so uh, that attempt to uh, tolerate and move towards accept and appreciate of all kinds of people is uh, really a challenge that I think we can put out for ourselves. And I think there's a lot of institutional things that we need to do to improve our uh, being welcoming to uh, people of different racial backgrounds. The, but the foundational concept that we uh, want to be welcoming and open to all kinds of people is really critical, uh, at, at least. Let's get that foundation set. And then let's act in ways that encourage uh, a diversity of, of thought and people and racial backgrounds and things to come into our stores.